the first to know in CMPTV. All right, if we answer one more question, I'm confirming that in CMPTV. So, a lawyer for the much in a day a in CMB at which Jana this time round, no, or both a attorney general go through the board damia basso. If a a reply be a or the man a year to my honey over a comment be a running about a year and Jim Tatu Quisin a trial I echo so away Supreme Court na or requested for a year hot or per se a chin a year as seminal and I say me can say no pussy quiet na lawyer for Adamo Church say. A year, Jim, I'm sorry. Go for dummy, the attorney general. A year reply on the man, a year to my hand, a year one of the best reply. Now, a bona basu ye pan. The person will come out with a year poor mochi. Um, in summer, or can I fire a year attorney general? Now, I see the end of the compoke say a bra do ye attorney general, um, attorney general interview. No, Obusa and say. What in Sambia for a year? Um, the man he knows it. Oh, men can wash it, but me person me call me office na at the proper time no. Me issue a statement. We me unkunku ti a year for much. A be ano abo a year Tony Jino abasu. Udi a truck is an honourable man. No doubt about that. I respect him. His congratulations for his victory. But the fact is that he was untruthful. Adamu Sakande too was untruthful. May he rest in peace. He was jailed. He died. We all cried because we like him. He doesn't take away from the fact that the evidence that he gave to the court was untruthful. This is the attorney general's response. Now, you, you see the decorous nature in which he ended that interview. The guy says, Dom Ahini has said something. He says, no, 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 I can't talk about it. I'll go back to the office and we'll issue a proper statement. That's how to deal with it. See the way he addresses Dom Ahini. He doesn't mention him. But see the way he addresses him in this. Go on. Now, this is the story. The Office of the Attorney General and Ministry of Justice has observed with serious concern the increased tendency for various persons. Now, this is Domahini is talking about various persons, including members of the legal profession of considerable standing. Is Domahini he's talking about? You see how respectful he is. Is Domahini here he's talking about? He says, including members of the legal profession of considerable standing. That is Domahini, and a high court judge. A justice of the superior court of judicature sits down and says the Supreme Court was wrong. Oh, wow, why? 2023, 30 years of democracy. A high court judge goes into a public forum. I don't know whether he's seeking applause. He got some applause. I don't know whether he's being sentimental. A high court judge. If you were in England, a crown court judge. And then you say the House of Laws was wrong, that you would have ruled differently. King Charles will summon you to Buckingham. That will be the end of it. How do you do that? Including members of the legal profession of considerable standing to run extremely prejudicial commentary on cases pending before the courts. He goes on. The cases which have been the subject of unwarranted public commentary include, but are not limited to, Republic versus Jachi Kwesin, Republic versus Dr. Stephen Opuni, and two others. The Republic versus Kesel Atuforsen, and two others. The Attorney General goes on. Whilst respecting the freedom of all persons in Ghana to comment on any matter, including cases pending before the court, the Attorney General and Minister of Justice takes note that much of the recent commentary on many of the so-called high-profile criminal cases transgresses permissible limits of free speech. Great work. This, this is how this is democracy. Don't mind any, have you heard the attorney general says that the kinds of things you are saying it transgresses the permissible limits of free speech? You can't talk like that as a high court judge. Abba unduly interferes, those comments unduly interferes with the work of the state prosecutors performing their constitutional function of prosecuting crime in Ghana and tends to put unnecessary pressure on the courts. Precisely so. The state prosecutors are doing their work. You have the right to defend yourself. The criminal trial is for the defense. They can do anything they want. They can go up and come down, go to court of appeal, come back. They can have so many interlocutories. The court will entertain it. Because the wheels of justice, they say, turn slowly. So the prosecution, the defense have every right. 
And so you don't have to make such prejudicial comments as a high court judge. Two, the Attorney General respectfully reminds Ghanaians of the principle of equality, before, equality of all persons before the law, enshrined in Article 17 1 of the, of the Constitution. No person living in Ghana, citizen or non citizen, is above the laws of Ghana or immune from an application of same. No person is above the laws of Ghana. So, because he is just equation, and especially because he won a beautiful election last Tuesday, suddenly we should say, oh no, it's okay. How are we going to explain it? That he did it, that he didn't do it, that he did it, but he's a big man. That, oh, he did it, but he won the election. Really? Is that, how, is, that how they, is that how they do it? He did it, but he won the election. So, because he won the election, Charlie, let the guy go. In fact, he won the by-election. They said he wasn't a member of parliament. The Supreme Court removed him, and he went back, and he won the by-election. So that he's no more within the law. He's now above the law. As, I'm, as I've been repeating this evening, 100 and 275 members of parliament fill the same form. Are they prosecuting all of them for the same thing? Has any of them received any letter from the police? Has any of them received any letter from the electoral commission? Has any of them received any summons from the attorney general? All of you fill the same form in the same manner. Why are all of you not being prosecuted? I sincerely hope that the right honorable Doajao is watching the program. Sometimes he watches. Honorable Doajao, if you are watching the program, I know you. Can you talk to your people? I mean, all of them fill the form. All of them fill the form. Why is only one person being prosecuted? What did he say on the form? Then Domahini says, Nah, basa basa bina, asembi ba. Oh, dear, tro. That's the point. Okay, let's, 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 let's continue. Let's deal with it. Number three, the Attorney General's constitutional responsibility for the initiation and conduct of all prosecutions of criminal offenses implies a duty to prosecute a crime committed in Ghana after proper investigations have been conducted, irrespective of the political, race, color, ethnic, religion, economic, or social status of the culprit. I like this. He says that the responsibility implies a duty to prosecute a crime committed in Ghana after proper investigations have been conducted, irrespective of the political, race, color, ethnic, religion, economic, or social status of the culprit. The state's attorneys assisting the attorney general in the performance of this hallowed constitutional mandate operate under extreme pressure and are exposed to severe risk. They have the right to prosecute cases freely in a court of law just as private legal practitioners enjoy a right to defend their clients free from abuse and attacks on their character. In the same way, if a lawyer is defending somebody, you can't tell the lawyer that we need a bonipa, a kwa we won't say no yeah. No. The lawyer is doing his work. So state attorneys have to do their work. Four, the decision to prefer a charge against an accused person is not made on the basis of a person's political status, social or economic standing, but on the strength of the evidence subject to the scrutiny of the courts. An acquittal of a person by the court does not imply malice on the part of the republic in the filing of a charge. Attorney General is doing some education. He's saying that when people go to court and they're acquitted, it doesn't mean that you tell Attorney General, oh, oh, so we knew, oh, oh, no. It doesn't mean that. You go to court with the strength of your case. You believe in your case. The court may rule otherwise. It's just like if you and I are fighting over land. I go to court with the strength of my case. He comes to the strength of his case. The court may rule otherwise. That, that the Attorney General uh, fails a prosecution, it doesn't mean that the prosecution was done with malice. It doesn't mean that, no, we're meaning the pants to the new, we the not on our GA, or we say, we the new. That's not how it works. That's not how it works. That's the Attorney General is doing some education. I think he's beginning to feel that he needs to educate our people. I believe, particularly those of us who comment publicly. Those of us who are in the media comment public, Attorney General is beginning to feel that he needs to give us some education. And I think this is for all of us. It's for those of us who have been commenting, commentators, journalists, news reporters, all of us. I think this is for us. For that reason, I'll, I'll read it again for my own education. He says, the decision to prefer a charge against an accused person is not made on the basis of a person's political status, social or economic standing, but on the strength of the evidence subject to the scrutiny of the court. An acquittal of a person by the court does not imply malice 
on the part of the republic in the filing of the, of the charge. Thank you. Thank you, Attorney General. We take that. The perception that a crime committed by a person of high political standing in society should not be prosecuted is dangerous for society and must not be countenanced. That's, that's true, isn't it? It's particularly true. Okay. The Office of the Attorney General and the Ministry of Justice observe that many of the recent comments by various persons on some criminal matters, particularly those mentioned above, widely publicized in the media, clearly exceed the bounds of acceptable speech as they seek to disparage prosecutors in the eyes of the public and frustrate prosecution of those cases. Some of the comments are orchestrated to pervert the, court of, to pervert the course of justice and or prejudice the fair hearing and determination of the case. The Attorney General and Minister of Justice, in the discharge of his duty to protect the administration of justice from abuse, hereby entreats the general public to permit the streams of justice to flow freely and uncontaminated by undue comments and pressure on the courts. The Attorney General finally cautions that no immunity is conferred by a person's position in Parliament. Thank you, the judiciary, traditional authority, the bar, or any official position from the consequence of an interference in the administration.